It's wet and soggy here in State College. This is the Viner Four Gates postgame show. Maryland Falls 38 to three. The Penn State band marches by. I'm Wayne Viner. This is Connie Beach. <laughs> There's some happy people here, but I'm not one of them. Connie, you've seen a lot of these games. Back you were here when Maryland beat Penn State a few years ago. Uh, any immediate takeaways from today? Immediate. Um, disappointing. Uh, saw some bright things happen. Where they had a nice turnover later in the game that I thought might be, this could be our chance to turn it around, but it just didn't happen. Didn't happen. Uh, Mason would point out if he were here, and of course Mason and Bruce are away from the camera today, and we can't seem to get away from the drums. <laughs> that Maryland, I think it's 104 to six over the past two times they played Penn State. I saw a lot of guys raging online in the in the message boards. This has to stop. But the game seemed closer than I feel for most of it, didn't it? Yes, yes. They were. They were. Maryland was playing. They were driving. They had plenty of good opportunities just didn't seem to be able to capitalize on them. No, and Matt Canada went over a couple of those. He said in the post-game press conference after Ohio State, it's a game of inches. We've talked about it on this air, that the Michigan State game was a game of inches. A couple fumbles got away, could have gone Maryland's way. Six inches away from winning last week, but the six inches here generally happened. Maryland did just cross midfield Threw the ball down a couple times. One was marked out of bounds. One Dante Demas couldn't bring in. A field goal was missed. He got a whole book of notes there. But at some level, you wonder if Maryland can compete week in and week out. They've gotten stronger. They've gotten bigger. And then you have a game like this that's 38 to 3. And I wonder how it translated on television. But here, especially down at the end of the first half until Petrino missed that kick, you figured that maybe there's a way we're going to get back in it, didn't you? Indeed. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And as we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. And when a problem does arise, our technical experts can quickly resolve it. In many cases, before you're even aware that there was a problem at all. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. Were you surprised at how mobile McSorley was, how he just seemed to run away from everybody? Yes. he. I don't know whether he completely faked everyone out, but he just all of a sudden there was a gap and he was gone. And he seemed to know when to hit that. There were a couple times with Pogrom where you saw that gap open. And there was hesitation. Yeah, stutters. He, he didn't. What well, kept looking for the place to throw the ball? Throw the ball. Right. It just you just can't have games that continue to get away like this. Thirty-eight to three wasn't that bad, but this brings an end to a season that I was hoping to get one more win somewhere. It's been week after week after week. You're figuring to get one more win and didn't happen. And uh, now that I got to sit through the coach's press conference. I guess I'm a little less emotional, but it still bothers me. You know, not supposed to. You're supposed to be professional about this. The reason we're here isn't because it's professional. The reason we're here is because we love this team. Mm -hmm. Even at this point, say you love this team. Not, maybe not as love much as... Love this team and enjoy watching them and coming out and see them put the effort out week after week. And to hear Coach say that that was the thing to take away from this, that the guys stayed together, they stayed strong, they wanted to play the game, they wanted to do their best, and to be there for each other and overcome all of these adversities. And for them to have to take the season, five wins, five yeah. wins, yeah. after everything they've been through, that's to say a lot. Um, but for them to this to be the end of the season also has to be hard on them as well. Last week was so close. No, they didn't get back to that emotional high today. Mm -hmm. I give Matt Canada a lot of credit. I know we're going a little long here in a game that probably nobody's going to watch this show. The season's over. It's time for basketball. Man, I, I was just hoping we come in here and, and beat these guys and 
really didn't seem that way from the minute we walked out and all this was frozen. It sort of melted down a little bit now, all the way through till it just became hopeless. Um, you do too many of these. Most of them around basketball, we sit here and go, God, that was a great season, and it didn't work out. This wasn't the world's greatest season for Maryland, and it still didn't work out, and it's going to be a season of off-season of tremendous turmoil, and I'm sure we'll all get to that. But for this day, just wish we could have won this game against a team that I consider to be our only true rival that we play anymore. And maybe West, West Virginia comes back on the schedule in a year or two, but this is the only true rivalry game we have. And, well, we didn't win by a lot. Any final words from you, Miss Connie? I guess just to quote Matt, at the end in the press conference, he said that football is the greatest game on earth. It doesn't matter where you came from, if they come together and they can all play and be on an equal playing field. And I think that's probably the best thing to take away from this season. So for the entire Red Turtle crew starring Mason, Bruce, Miss Connie has been along for the entire ride, although it doesn't appear much on camera. And for me, <laughs> for Wayne, uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you for the sponsorships. Thanks for all the notes. And it's, we'll do it again next year. But it's nothing is going to top the turmoil and tragedy of the 2018 season. From Unhappy Valley, we will see you on Wednesday night as Maryland hosts UVA in basketball. Good evening.